Welcome everyone to Live Chat with Viv and Bill. This month is a month of Thanksgiving and we are we love Thanksgiving and we just think that it's a really good time to talk about not only the goodness of God, but the things that we're thankful for. I know basically um, many of you are probably preparing for the season and wondering um, what am I gonna cook? What I need to buy? Um, did I get everything on my recipe well? So Vilma is going to give you guys all the information you need. <laughs> Great Thanksgiving. Okay, good <laughs> afternoon, everyone. I don't know what I have to give you, but I'll try. So um, what's your, um, you say this is the mantra giving thanks. I agree with you. And I know a lot of people say we are thankful every day. And yes, we know, but you know what we're talking about. It's a special time when we put an emphasis on Thanksgiving. And uh, Vivian, I don't, I'm not sure if you are aware, but where did this Thanksgiving come from? Well, we know it came from the pilgrims, right? Right. Yeah. That's what I heard. <laughs> yeah, that's what we you know about the program because we know it's an, um, you know, we didn't grow up with the tradition of Thanksgiving, but Correct. I think it's a holiday that we do need to take the time to be thankful and, and, mm -hmm. and, and have a time to be quiet or to be still and to recognize that God and others are responsible for the achievements in our lives. And, and I think that's a great time to celebrate that or get together with friends and family and just have a great time. Yeah. But yeah. what I know is the programs. I don't remember right off the top of my head the full story, but I know it's about the programs who settled here. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, educate us. Yeah, I, I, I don't know the details either, but I know that's where it came from when they were, uh, I, as a matter of gratitude in being able to settle, then they had, you know, this celebration or Thanksgiving. And for those of you who are listening to us, you can write in the comment section if you think of something else that, um, Thanksgiving uh, was derived from rather than the pilgrims and just let us know correct what we we have said and if I thought about it then we would have looked it up but anyway Thanksgiving so what do you guys do for Thanksgiving what's your tradition Vivian? Hmm. well typically we go away to visit family but this year my husband claimed he's not going anywhere so we're staying home by ourselves, but I do, um, I do love getting together with friends or families and, and, mm -hmm. and just, just to have a time to laugh and to share and make memories. I, I really love doing that. That's just um, a great thing. You know, I might not like to get together with people all the time, but around the <laughs> holidays, I love to get together with people on um, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yeah, that's that that that's that's good. So um for for us, we haven't had Thanksgiving like a gathering for the last two years because of COVID. Mm -hmm. And well, we had a small thing last year, but not as many. But Thanksgiving, the tradition is we all get together family. So I have family who have come from Canada. I have wow. actually a sister who came up from Jamaica. And she's going to be here for Thanksgiving. We all gather in one home and we cook a lot, eat a lot, have fun, watch the football after dinner and just play games and enjoy each other's company. So do you guys dance too? No, we don't. We don't. We don't dance. But, you know, we, it's mainly football, you know, wherever there's football and there's men around, they want to listen to football. And then the, the rest of us will, um, I'm into football. So I am not just going to say the men. So I always want to gravitate to watching football. But the other thing that we do play board games. Mm -hmm. but this Thanksgiving is more special because we, of us not having a big gathering before. 
And um, so, you know, just seeing everybody and just feeling the, the, um, the love right. and, you know, the gathering, it, it's going to mm -hmm. be very special. Yeah, exactly but, after 2000, exactly for the fact that you guys haven't done it for two years, then I definitely, you know, I could understand the joy and the excitement of getting together mm -hmm. again. Yeah. 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 And um, the other thing uh, about Thanksgiving, and I'm not sure if you guys do it, when we gather together before we eat, every person have to say what they are thankful for. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. So that's a tradition. So we will talk. So, you know, you better make sure you have some something to eat before you come because sometimes it takes a long time to go around for people to say what they are thankful for mm -hmm. and then we eat sometimes it's you know different things whatever comes to mind so what time yeah. is dinner you guys normally have dinner early or you guys are late dinner people i'm early early like 3 34 mm -hmm. that's good 334 and then you know you can relax and people go back and eat again and you know it, it's usually um a lot of food and it's a mixture of your traditional um US Thanksgiving and foods that we cook in Jamaica like oxtail and you know curry goat jerk chicken all that don't let your mouth water <laughs> so all that is a part of it and you know, and then we share. Okay. So does the person who's hosting, they do all that cooking? No, no. Other people bring, different people, okay. they are assigned to bring, um, to bring okay. something. So okay. it, it's like uh, everybody coming together and, you know, bringing, it's like a potluck. Right. So that makes it easier on the host. Right. So are you hosting? Are you hosting? Yeah, I'm hosting. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. That sounds like fun. You're the, yeah. you're the you're the host with the most, so I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so so that's what I am looking forward to. And I'm actually excited. It, it's a lot of work because although I'm not cooking everything, but you know, you have to make sure that your your place is in a in a shape where people can <laughs> you know come in you have to clean up etc exactly. my house is is dirty I'm, I'm a clean person mm -hmm. um generally but you know we do extra clean when people are coming that's all yes 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 and especially if they're staying so what time do you guys thanksgiving always end like is it all night or people leave early no not all night but it usually goes until the football game is is over oh okay and so the game yeah. the, the time okay yeah the game starts maybe time does the game start i don't remember what time but when usually when the game is over and then you still have some people struggling and then there is the leftovers and then the following day people come back and they mm -hmm. eat leftovers. So you you don't just host for one day, you host for two days because two people days. coming back, they don't, some will take leftovers and they still come back. Some <laughs> will take it and they come back. So, but it, you know, it's all fun. So you have to actually cook for enough for three days because those that take still come back to eat again. So it's a, basically the tradition in your family is just a whole entire weekend. I'm no, just two out. days. Just two days. Two days. Just Saturday Thanksgiving and, and the day after Thursday, Black Friday. Friday. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's fun. That that sounds really good. That sounds really good. I know when I was growing up in, in Long Island, New York, my, my family, we always have um Thanksgiving at three o'clock. My no matter mm. what holiday it is, my stepmother always say dinner is always ready at three o'clock. So no matter what. Nice, nice. And nice. my mother lived in Queens, so hers is whenever she finished cooking. So it could be six o'clock, seven o'clock. So when I got married, it was cool that I could go to Long Island, have dinner, I guess you'd call it brunch, dinner, brunch with my mm -hmm. father and his wife. And um, and then I'll go to Long Island in Queens to have dinner with my mom at six o'clock because then by then we're hungry <laughs> again, you know. 
Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's when I got married. That was my transition, my transition. But I right. always know growing mm-hmm. up with my father, um, we used to have dinner three, then we clean up, then we play games, we watch movies, because mm-hmm. we're not a football fan. Um, you know, maybe the men are, but they just watch movies with us or they talk and play dominoes or something like that. But okay. they're not an American football type of thing. They will play soccer, they will look, watch cricket, but they're not an American football fan. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's either we watch movies as a family, you know, play games and talk and different things like that, or afterwards I go to my girlfriend's house when I was single. So I always end up in my girlfriend's house and then we would take a ride up to Canada. So every Thanksgiving, oh. hanging out with my friends, then we ride up to Canada for the weekend and then we come back maybe about Sunday. So we always somewhat spend the rest of the holidays in Canada um, mm-hmm. with friends and mm-hmm. whatever we plan to do that particular weekend. So that was my tradition. That sounds good. That sounds good. But let's look at, um, because I know some families, they have more than enough. Mm -hmm. They have excess and they revel into that excess. But one of the things, another tradition that we do is we always um, provide a meal or a Thanksgiving basket for somebody because there are people who, don't have you know all this food that mm-hmm. you hear me talk about mm-hmm. and there were times when i would either serve the morning at a shelter yes or the day before which would be today so um i didn't do anything today yeah. where we would go and help mm-hmm. help to to yeah. serve a meal and yeah. i think that blesses me as well so much to know yeah. that I am helping to provide for somebody who may not be able to afford a Thanksgiving meal. Right. Yeah. And and that's the tradition that we did with my kids from they were small and they could do things like every, yeah, it would be today. Yeah, it would be today. I'm thinking it's a today or two, yesterday. Typically before COVID, my kids and I, we used to do Mm -hmm. this from they were five up. We go to the breakfast missions. Mm-hmm. and and serve and give out turkeys and my kids will help escort people to their cars with their stuff so it's a thing that I normally try to typically make them do mm-hmm. you know and mm-hmm. they get used to it after the years of like okay are we going to breakfast missions today you know what day are we going I gotta make my plans you know that's their mentality but mm-hmm. since COVID happened we haven't been going for the last two two years or three years I don't remember how long COVID was so we haven't right. been there, but you just remind me that's something yeah. that I need to definitely pick back up. Um, right. Right. You know, I don't know why I didn't think about doing it this year, but um, it become a, a pattern that they 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 look forward to us being there. Like, oh, she knows what she's doing. You know, mm-hmm. we all have our task and so forth. And as a family, we go. You know, especially myself and my boys um, go out there. I make sure that they remember that they need to give. Thanksgiving and Christmas, you know, not right. just to receive, but also to give, give back. So right, and this is pre-COVID, yeah, we're not doing anything well apart from donating to um, to bless, you know, um, mm-hmm. Thanksgiving to make a Thanksgiving basket. We didn't go out, and I guess things we're not sure things are opening up, but you know, we didn't get that. Um, invitation or we nobody asked however we 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 could have you know kind of find out so we've been to Emmanuel dining room or Mm -hmm. dining hall we've been to Sunday breakfast mission Mm -hmm. we've been to you know churches that I was a part of they would hold a Thanksgiving meal there at the church and you would serve the meal Mm -hmm. and that was you know really really um a lot of joy yeah and and, and that's the thing you know it, like you said it's very important to give back and we want to admonish you guys our listeners to also think about how you can give back and to impact and to give to another person um it, it's it's the bible says it's a blessing to to give more than to receive so mm-hmm. we need to able to find things or you know go out and we're encouraging you to 
take that time to invest in someone, to give back to your community, find some mm -hmm. type of services like them. I just name a couple of them in our particular area, but outside of um, Delaware, I know other people listen to us internationally and nationally. So just find different um, community services where you can able to give because trust us, it's a blessing to give Absolutely. and you feel so good. If you were feeling, if you're feeling down, go out and give because it will definitely bless your heart. You Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, definitely. Then you can also make donations to the Delaware Food Bank yeah. as well. And, and, you know, they will make sure that the funds do what it is supposed to do. And I don't worry to say what are they going to do with the money because it, I, I give it from my heart. Exactly. If they want to misuse the money, then it's on them. But just, just you know, just to give um, and let the money... Um, you know, work and, you know, go along with some other funds because you may not have enough to provide for a meal, but the little that you have will go with somebody else's little and will provide the meal. Right. Definitely. All right. And um, I know sometimes the holidays are not as joyful for a number of people, especially if it's the first holiday after the loss of a loved one, whether it's a mm -hmm. mom, a dad, a child, a, a grandparent, or somebody that is very significant in the family, then people tend to not want to gather and you're not really in the mood for, say, to be grateful. But one thing that I learned was that gratefulness is not attach just to the people around you, but the gratefulness that you feel round about Thanksgiving stems from God because he has been so good. He has been so good throughout the year. He has been so good in your life. So because of the one incident and, you know, we have to remind it that we still have to give thanks. And we may not have a big gathering because I've been in that position when I didn't want to, but that's God reminds me that, um, you know, am I not a good father? Am I not still providing for you? And it kind of, you know, pushed me back into reality to say, yes, I need to be grateful. So, but, but I do understand as well, if you are sad because it's maybe an empty chair around the table and it, you're flooded with memories. But I just wanna say that even if you try not to have a big crowd around, but still in your sadness, in your tears, you know, just be grateful that you are alive. Just be grateful that even right now you have shelter. Just be grateful that you are able to even have memories of your loved one. And um, so that's something still to be grateful for. So in all things, the Bible says to give thanks you know, in all things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I know it's really hard on some people now because I could think about at least five people off the top of my head who were spending the first Thanksgiving alone mm -hmm. without that particular loved one. And, and I know definitely it's going to be hard, but, you know, God says he never leave us, not forsake us. And, and that's the big thing that he is with you no matter what mm -hmm. you're going through, no, no matter what you're experiencing. He is there right with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And Absolutely. that's the truth. You know, the Holy Spirit is there as a comforter to comfort you. And even and, and, and sometimes I heard somebody single said this before, and I think it's really true. She was like saying to herself that, you know, being single and alone, no one will reach out to her. And then God said to her, So why haven't you reach out to someone and ask them mm. can you come to their home? So if you feel like you're alone and feel like no one have asked you, why don't you ask someone, can I come by and, mm -hmm. and, and be with you for Thanksgiving? Can I come over? And um, someone that you know who might not be like looking at you weird, but <laughs> someone you may know, 
text them, hey, can I come and join you guys for Thanksgiving this year or Christmas, mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. it may be? Um, you know, because sometimes it takes people might feel weird to ask, you know, maybe they don't know that you're alone. And if you don't make yourself known, they can't mm -hmm. say, hey, come over and join us. So, you know, make yourself available also, not waiting for someone to say, can you come over? I know it's kind of weird, you might think, but hey, you know, if they're truly your friend and if you really know them, they're not going to say nothing, but sure, come on, join us. Right. So, you know, take that step forward and and, and put yourself out there. Get be uncomfortable with being uncomfortable. Being comfortable with being uncomfortable. I think that's the thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And as you say that, and the reverse is also true. If you can remember or think, you know, give a phone call. They may not want to come and join you, but call. I'm thinking about you. Do you want me to drop off a meal? You know, if you can think of somebody who may need um some to be blessed by mm -hmm. a, a, with a meal, then of course go ahead and do that. And we, I know we have been concentrating on meals, but there are people who are homeless out there, socks. Can you donate a pair of socks? Mm -hmm. Can you give a coat, maybe, like or a jacket, maybe something that you have in your closet? I know my husband is saying to me, I'm going to the closet and any coat, any jacket that I see that you haven't worn in a while, I'm taking it. <laughs> and I'm donating it. And which is correct because how many coats and jackets can you wear? You know, um, be thankful, be grateful, and bless somebody with socks, bless somebody with a jacket, bless somebody with coat, bless somebody with a pair of gloves. That's something that, you know, you should be grateful that you are able to share. So it's not just a meal, but, but, there are people out there that need um, a nice pair of socks um, to keep them warm, um, a pair of gloves to keep their fingers cool, a blanket to throw over them. And, you know, life happens and, you know, sometimes they may go into shelter or they may have a tent put up, but not everybody will find a warm bed. And if you can, even if you don't know who to give it to, drive downtown, downtown Wilmington. You know, we have an organization that we are a part of and we serve a meal every Sunday. Um, and we are in downtown Wilmington. There's another group that is there with us that, that do clothing, socks. Um, give it to us, give it to me, pick me up, you know? And I'll, and I'll make sure it gets to somebody who needs it. Empty those closets out. You know, your closet is full and, 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 and running over, right? Get some of those jackets out and, and, and coat. And, you know, you say, oh, I'm blessed. I don't even know which one to wear. But can I tell you something? God blesses us to be a blessing. So, so with the coats, do you have to clean the coats before you give them in? It, it depends on how, if the coat is, is not clean, I would expect you to clean it. I would expect you do it just how many, many jackets you can throw it in, the, in a washing machine and wash them. And I wouldn't give somebody and have them to wear something that I wouldn't want to wear myself. Something that is, you know, needs a little washing or cleaning up. But just throw it in the washing machine and wash it. With a, with a coat, it's kind of different. You know, that you may have to dry clean it. But, you know, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Amen. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so, now... We broke down what we eat, what our tradition and the things that we have done. So what are you thankful for? What, what some of the things are you thankful for, Vilma? Oh boy, there's so much, so much. And I know that this sounds corny, but I'm grateful to be alive. I'm so grateful. I think about 
um, what happened in West Virginia University, a, um, or Virginia University, yeah. I, I think about what happened in Colorado. I think about, you know, all these senseless killings just last week, days before Thanksgiving. I think it was yesterday a helicopter crash with a news anchor and a weatherman, Ooh. both of them in it. And I think about their family grieving now. I think about the change of plans that they have for Thanksgiving because, you know, I think about the plans that they probably had and how they were going to celebrate. And life is, is very precious. And I'm grateful that I'm alive because mm -hmm. I, I, I get a chance to, to do a do-over. I get a chance to, you know, reach out to somebody. Um, so I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to be in great health. And that's one thing I know most people cannot boast about. So I'm grateful for my health. I thank God I'm a healthy person and I'm, and I'm thankful for that. So I'm thankful for family, thankful for my husband, my daughter, thankful for friends, thankful for shelter, thankful that I have a job, um, thankful that I have family that's gathering around um so much to be grateful for yeah cool. what about you Amen. well like you i'm thankful for family and friends and you know we had um two deaths back to back in our family we had a lot of deaths this year so in, in regards to you yeah i'm thankful to be alive and you know um my my son had a car accident this year well last month I should say and I'm thankful that he did not um he was not armed in any way and he had his brother in the car and I still mm -hmm. have my son so that's really in, important and and I'm just thankful for the time that we have on earth that we can able to try to find you know find people that we can able to impart in Mm -hmm. and to make a difference and I'm, I'm thankful for those people who have poured out in my life um throughout the years and and I appreciate them you know for all that they have done and the support and their love that they have shown to me and because of the things they have done I'm who I am today and I'm where I am today so I'm very thankful for that and um you know I'm, I'm about to fact today a uh, um high school friend reached out to me and um, it's like, wow, a blast from the past, you know, type of thing. And just hearing the things like, you know, he was like a brother to me. Like we, we when I had food, he had food. And when he had food, mm -hmm. I had food in college type of thing. So it's just that, just thankful for those people in your life that really was there for you and, and appreciate what mm -hmm. they've done. And I was just remembering my aunt, Joy, that she... She always, I used to go shopping, not in the store, but in my aunt's closet, <laughs> food pantry, when I came home from college. So I'm just thankful for her. We just talk about that um, a little bit today. And I'm just thankful for my aunt Joy, who was there to provide food for me. And, you know, when I had no money in college <laughs> and um, preparing meals for me and so forth. So I'm just giving her a shout out because I remember her today, you know, just talking to my friend about what she've done. So I'm really grateful and thankful. Society on a whole would have said I would end up somewhere else, but God see it fit that I am I am here. I am a college graduate and I'm here and I'm still alive, even though statistics may say I wouldn't have made it, but God see that I made it from where I've been to where I am now. So I'm just thankful, thankful, thankful for that. Yeah. Amen. And um yeah, that's a lot to be thankful for. Yeah. Now, um, there's something I want to backtrack and try to connect it. When we started talking initially, we were saying, you know, how did Thanksgiving, were, uh, the origin the origin of Thanksgiving? But I, I want to, yes, we know why we do this big celebration. But I think Thanksgiving, gratefulness, that's from God. Mm -hmm. 
right throughout the Bible, we see where, um, where, where thankfulness and gratefulness is something that God wants to be a part of our life. And we say, be thankful unto him and, and, and bless his name. And the, the scripture gives you the reason why you should be. The scripture talks about, you know, enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. So there are always scripture that God wants us to be thankful. God wants us to be grateful. God wants us to be appreciative. And that's where I think all that stem from where we were taught or you know instructed in by in the scriptures for those of us who are Christians of uh, why we should be grateful and how we should be grateful and to always give thanks. So it did not just um we have commercialized it, we have made it into, and I'm, and I'm not knocking it because I celebrate, I bring things and people together. You hear me talk about our celebration, mm -hmm. but God wants us to have a heart of gratitude and gratefulness all year round mm -hmm. um, for, for him, just, just of him being God and, and sovereign and, Lord of our lives and um, we being his children, you know, he wants us to be grateful. He wants us to show love to one another. All these are things that come from the scripture and we have to remember that. And a lot of times the, the, the gratefulness and the, the kindness and the thankfulness when it comes from a heart that knows what it is to have that gratitude for a savior who left heaven, came to earth, left all that he had, came to earth, became a man, die, to die on the cross so that I could be saved, Vivalin could be saved, and, and many of you out there could be saved because of that immense love that he had for us. You know, we are grateful because we could not do it. We couldn't pay him to do it. And he did it because of his love for us. So our gratefulness to God started from there, you know, him coming back, leaving, you know, his, his leaving heaven. He, he had it made, he had it good. But the love he had for us, he's like, I'm not content to just be here. I want to go back. I want to reconcile God, your people with you, you know? Um, so I'm grateful for that. I am so grateful for that. And I just want you guys to hear that. And when you can't think of anything that you can be grateful for, if you're a Christian, think about what he did for you. Think about the difference he has made in your life. Think about that you have somewhere that you're going to be going to when your life on this earth is over, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's something to be thankful for. Definitely. Definitely. And um, we also need to not just celebrate Thanksgiving one day. We should live right. a life of thankfulness. And it's something that I try to practice all the time, like right before I go to bed. Or I tell my children, hey, let me know something that you're thankful about today. Um, so it's, it's, it's very important to live, like you said, Vilma, live a life of gratitude mm -hmm. and, 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 and take that time out, even before you go to bed and say, Lord, I appreciate today. You know, even to say thank you that I'm alive today or thank you that I got um, out of the bed today, whatever it is, or thank you, Lord, that I got a cup of coffee. It doesn't matter what it is. At the end of the day, it feels so good trying to go to my bed and say all the things I'm thankful. Sometimes I fall asleep saying what I'm thankful for. And I don't do it. I, I'm not going to lie and say do it all the time. I try to live a life when I do remember to just be thankful. And my children, I, I would just ask them, I'll say your prayers. Okay, now tell me what you're thankful for, for today. So it's just something that we need to practice with throughout our lives. You know, 
constantly. And and you yourself, when you give someone something, you want to hear thank you. Sometimes, you know, it sounds good or it sounds good when they say thank you. And when mm -hmm. they don't say thank you, I know a lot of us, we do remember when they're not thankful, <laughs> you know, for right. not being thankful for what you've mm -hmm. given them or what God has placed upon your heart to give them. But it's good to release it. But sometimes it, it's great to hear someone say thank you. So, Absolutely. So we just wanted I, to take I had time. I had some verses that I was trying to say them from memory, but I had some verses that I just looked back that I pulled that I had pulled up. And in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, it's all through the scriptures. And I'm just gonna do you mind if I read a couple of no, them? Go ahead. So first Chronicles 16, verse 34 says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. And Psalm 28, 7 says, The Lord is my strength and my shield, and in him my heart trusts, and I am helped, my heart exalts, and with my song I give thanks to him. Psalm 54. 14 says, offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and perform your vows to the most high. And when I see that sacrifice of thanksgiving, it just goes back to that. You may not feel that you should be thankful. As I mentioned, those who have maybe lost loved ones, I was there, right? You know, for my first Thanksgiving after the, the loss of, of you know, people very close and dear to me. But I had to remember to give a sacrifice of thanksgiving. A sacrifice means that it's something, it, it costs you. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Psalm 69, 30 says, I will praise the name of God with a song. I will magnify him with thanksgiving. And I'm just going to read one from um. I'm going to go to the New Testament. That was just the Old Testament. And 1 Corinthians 1 verse 4 says, I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that was given you in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 5, 20, 21 says, giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another, out of reverence for Christ. And that's just some, there, there's so much. So I, I just wanted to share that before we wrap up. Okay. Well, also, you were also, gonna ask me a question? No, I was gonna say, um, I looked it up here. Um, they had two different times when the first thing you went to play. They have November 1621 and they have November um, 1637. But what we were talking about, it was saying about the programs that um, after their first corn harvest proved to be successful, right. they decided to have a celebration with the, um, the Native Americans and to have the celebration of their harvest. And that's what they're saying on how Thanksgiving came about. Um, okay. it, it lasted for three days, so you're not far away from having two days of Vilma. It's a mm -hmm. three-day celebration. <laughs> so, so that's what I just read real quickly while she was quoting the scriptures um, that Thanksgiving was based with the pilgrims and celebrating the first corn harvest that proved to be successful. They decided to come together with the Native Americans and have a feast. So, Amen. All right. Okay. I think we have covered everything that yeah. we wanted to talk about and make sure you, you know, comment, tell us what you are grateful for or what you were thankful for in case you don't get a chance to watch this on Thanksgiving. You can still tell us what you are thankful for after you, 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 you know, you read this. Yeah. And not only that, you can send us some recipes. And let us know too, you know, your tradition. Um, let us know your tradition of what you and your family do for, for this holiday. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, if you go and serve, let us know. If you have a grand family dinner, let us know. Whatever it may be, we would love to hear in the comments what you, you know, what happened this year and how you celebrated it. 
So, you know, a lot of, a lot of people don't like sharing their recipes. You know, they want to die with the recipe. They want, they're not going to share auntie, uh, grandma, Florence's sweet potato pudding and how mm -hmm. they cook the turkey and all those things. But, you know, we won't well, tell anybody good, to share it. to share. And I want to know. <laughs> not that I love to cook. Now y'all know. So uh, it's good to share. So I want to know if you have a recipe you want to give to the world. Hey, we're welcome to try. Okay. <laughs> Anything else, Ms. Goma? No, I think that is all. I'm grateful for you. And I'm grateful that we took the time to do this. Yes. You know? Yes. And I took a pause from getting my place together just to be with Vivalyn, just to let our audience know that we love you all. Yes. And have, have a happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yes. A happy Thanksgiving from um, Live Chat with Bill and Bill. We, 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 we pray blessings over you. We pray that you remain safe and that God keep you in his perfect peace. We thank you that, that for listening. We thank you for you that God has allowed us to come and meet with you guys at least once a month and um we appreciate you we love you this is live chat with Evan Bill goodbye bye